Welcome back to the comic book ASM artist. Today we are reading part 9 of the metal event. This is one of the many uh, one shots about uh, the Batman. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the Red Death. Stop me if you've heard this one. Worlds will live, worlds will die. But imagine if your every feel, each bad decision, gave birth to a malformed world of nightmare, a world that shouldn't exist. And desperate as it fights to survive in the light of the true multiverse far above, these worlds are doomed to rot apart and die because they are wrong at their core. Welcome to the Derek multiverse, home to the stories that should never be. It's all one big cosmic joke, except that no one on this side is laughing. Well, almost no one. Listen close. Now this is the story of a world's end, and a world transformed. Witness the rise of a dark night. It's getting worse. Central City is coming apart. We shouldn't be fighting. Time is running out. You're the smartest person I know. This is bigger than either of us. We have to do something before it's too late. As usual, you're already late, Flash. It's time you let someone else have the speed force. Batman, I told you, I won't give you the speed force. I've lost people I love too, but then you should understand. If you don't help me willingly, I'll make you. You know the things I've done, the mistakes I've made with these powers in the past. It's impossible to be everywhere at once. Unlike you, I tried to be. It cost me my family. Using one of the Mirror Master's old tricks? Really? All the rogue's weapons, why do you think you'll succeed with them against me when they couldn't? You're right. My toys are better. It didn't have to come to this. I asked you for help and you rejected me. If our roles were flipped, I would have used every tool at my disposal to get you what you needed. I said no because of your plans for the speed force. It is a dark path to run. You can see, I can see you're desperate and hurting. After my parents were murdered, I traveled the world to learn everything about science, martial arts, and the supernatural to become Batman. And it wasn't enough. Not for Jason, Tim, Dick, and Damien. Gotham did what it always does. It takes and takes and takes. I need to find a way to stay one step ahead of it. But with each day, I feel myself getting older and slower. I need the speed force. You can't turn back the clock. I'm sorry for what happened to your family. I am, but it won't end there. We have to figure out how to save everyone, everything, together. You're right. You're a good friend, Flash. I could always count on you and your compassion. You've just been injected with a crustasis formula developed by Dr. Victor Freeze. It's what he uses to keep his beloved Nora alive. I estimate your increased metabolism should burn it off in three seconds. But I won't need them. Where, where am I? Oh my. God, what are you doing? I studied your designs for the Cosmic Treadmill and repurposed its engine to let me harness your connection to the Speed Force. 
I will race into the speed force and steal it from you. Bruce, don't. The mistake I made when I vowed to my parents that I would save Gotham is that I was thinking too small. I should have promised to save the world. You can't access the speed force this way. You can't force it. It will rip us both apart. I know. No, I'm sorry, Barry. Please. But now we can save the world. Bruce. Together. You can't give up like this, Bruce. There's hope. There's always... Gotham City. Ever since the red skies appeared, crime has escalated at an unheard of rate in Gotham with no signs of slowing down. Beginning evacuation procedures immediately. Riots. Looting. We need backup now. Worst crime wave in Gotham City history. The backup is dead. It's time we blow up the bridges and turn it into a no man's land and finally kill Gotham off once and for all. This way, I know a back way out of downtown. I'm so scared. What you're expecting is a form of trant of xenophobia, a particularly harsh harsh case of the doomsday blues. It's perfectly natural in times like these, but let Scarecrow assure you the end is nothing to be afraid of. Trust me, I'm a doctor. My name is Bruce Wayne. No Bruce. I'm vengeance. Stop. I am justice. Don't. I am Batman, the Red Death, please. Before I used to spend so much time alone on rooftops dwelling on my actions, don't. But now I don't have time to think twice with the speed force, do. It's released me, this. I have saved Gotham, please. Now I will save our world, listen. I finally have all the time I'll ever need to me. Wayne Tower is falling. What is happening? The sky. The world, it's breaking apart. I'm not fast enough to save it. There is always a part of me, something deep inside, that still gives me hope that I can save this world. Even if it means the destruction of another? Bruce, it's Barry. Stay away from him. Don't listen. Who, what are you? Someone very much like you. Someone who lost his world simply because it was born down here. Down? Our worlds aren't meant to last. They are destined to die. It's a cruel law of nature in this place. You can feel it yourself, can't you? Your time is meant to end now. But what if I told you there was a world far, far above us that was destined to live? Tell me more. My master, Barbados, sent me. To find a few good heroes who could conquer that world and make a home for all of us orphaned by the darkness. Earth Zero, first world of the multiverse. What do you say? Do we got a deal? Central City, three days after Challenger's Mountain appeared in Gotham City. Thanks for meeting with me, Aunt Iris. It's okay, Wally. I've been covering the incident in Gotham and needed a break. Well, off the record, but Superman sent a message to every hero to keep an eye out for Batman. Even Robin reached out and he hates me. That means whatever is going on is real bad. Don't Batman would ever come to Central City. True, we have our hero, right? Wally. Barry should be here with us. 
I asked Barry for some time. What if you want, what if you wait too long? What is that? It looks like. What's happening to the city? What are these bats? My, the Flash's family, don't you hurt them. My love and a sidekick, Iris, run. The last speedster who hurt my nephew ended up dead. So I don't care how scary your mask is, you leave Wally, Iris. Something is wrong with the speed force, I'm so slow. Wally, Iris, your hands. It's okay, Wally, we'll be okay. This world's flash, he'll understand that in times of crisis there must be a sacrifice. I don't know who the heck you think you are. But there won't be any sacrifices in my city. Running is sort of a thing, so there's no use trying to escape. Once upon a time I was jealous of yours and Clark's little races, but now it doesn't matter. You drift, those bats, everything hurts, feels old. There will be no more racing, Barry. The voice, Bruce. Is that what happened to you after you left Black Hawk Island? If there's a part of you inside of that armor, Bruce, then you're still my friend. And if there's anything I can count on, it's your compassion. What? Bruce, listen to me. Quickly, Dr. Fate? What are you? Go ahead. Run, Barry. Run. It won't save you. We'll fight again, Flash. Barbados foretold the end of our history. I'll turn Central City into the home I lost. And save my Gotham. Bruce, no. Let me tell you a secret. All it takes is one bad day. One moment that should never happen, and the ground beneath you starts to crumble. Trust me, I know firsthand, all of us do. And now the seven most dangerous Batman that never were here to drag you into the dark. So, yeah, one bad day will kill the world, but one bad week? That could kill a multiverse. Alright. That's going to do it. Have a good day or night. Thanks. Bye.